What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be showcasing how to input the three secret codes in the Volinger Forge. Doing so will allow you to unlock three secret emblems. Collecting all three emblems will allow you to interact with the three hidden crests, which will finally give you a secret message. A lot of secrets and hidden stuff. I feel like I'm in the plot of a National Treasure movie, but we're gonna go over all of that, and so let's just get started. Now, these codes are hidden all over Volinger Forge, but you only have access to these codes and access to the ability to input them by getting the specific weapons and using them to shoot the hidden symbols. The first weapon you're gonna need is the Hammerhead Machine Gun. This is the very first forge weapon you had to forge to unlock this Volinger Forge. So what you need to do is take your hammerhead, aim down sights in a bunch of different locations around this forge, and then you'll be able to see the hidden symbols. So with your hammerhead, look on this cave column for this fire symbol. Shoot that, now we'll start it off, and then look on the ground near the middle of the forge for this sun symbol. You're gonna have to stand on this sun symbol and shoot a bunch of other symbols from this location. Look up to the boxes in the distance and shoot the plus symbol. Then, behind you, on the massive cave column, there is a U symbol. Shoot it. Next, to the right of the U symbol, you have some yellow boxes. Underneath that is an L symbol. Shoot that. A little bit to the left and up, you have an F symbol. Shoot that. Back behind you, on this ridge, there's a B symbol to shoot. Then, underneath this platform, you have an E symbol on the other side. To the right, on another column, you have an R symbol. On the grey box beside the yellow box, shoot the H symbol. Then, on the yellow box itself, the T symbol. You're then going to look back where you started and shoot the plus symbol again. And after that, you're going to have to move off of the sun symbol you've been standing on. Just a little bit forward on top of this rock, there's a moon symbol. You now have to stand on that and shoot some more symbols. So, yet again, you're starting with the plus symbol to shoot. Then, behind you, the U symbol kind of hidden here. Next up, hit the L a little bit above that in the background. Hit the F. To your left, the B symbol again. Behind that, beneath the platform, the E symbol again. And then off on a column kind of behind you, the R symbol. Then the H symbol on the gray box. Then we're back to the plus symbol. Next, the T on the yellow box. And then finally on the cave wall, just to the left of that platform, we have a symbol of a rain cloud. Shoot that and that will give you the hidden emblem. Now, moving on from there, in order to unlock the second emblem, you need another forge weapon, specifically the Tatara Gaze Snipe Rifle. Now, you're going to unlock this weapon when you unlock the Goffinen Forge. Once you have it, you can go back to the Volanger Forge and do another code and unlock another secret emblem. So, once you have this weapon, head to the very back of the forge and there's kind of a box with a symbol of a tiger or a cat's head. This is what you want to stand on. From here, on the ramp to your left, shoot the fish symbol. After that, to your right on a stalagmite right in front of you, shoot the totally flower and not marijuana leaf symbol. After that, about 90 degrees to your right, there's going to be a temple symbol on kind of a pipe. After shooting that, you're going to have to move locations. Look on the ground for this, I guess, dragon head or whatever kind of head symbol uh, right here and stand on this. Now, while standing here, look way off into the distance uh, at this box and shoot this shrine symbol. Then look basically directly above you and shoot the rabbit head symbol. Then to the right of the back on this stalactite, there's going to be this weird patchy symbol. Shoot it. And finally, look at the fan in the back and underneath, shoot the temple symbol again, and that will net you this other secret emblem. 
Now, moving on from there, the third code that was only just unlocked with the arrival of the Izanami Forge, thanks to streamer T-Rex. Definitely check him out, fantastic streamer. Now, this is going to require the Spiteful Fang Forge Bow. It isn't actually required to unlock the Izanami Forge, but you gain access to this bow once you've unlocked it. So you do have to have this, head back to the Volunger Forge, and we're gonna have a whole new set of symbols. So, using this bow, look on the ground for the butterfly symbol, located somewhat near the entrance to this forge. This is going to be what you need to stand on. Now from here, the box right next to you on the right side, you have the woods symbol. Shoot it. Now on the opposite side, on this stalagmite, you have a note symbol or a paper symbol. After shooting that, look for a half sun symbol very close to you on the ground and go and stand on that. From there, in the same direction you traveled to get here, there is a heart symbol. You're going to have to shoot this twice. Then back behind you, shoot the woods symbol again. Then somewhat behind that, near the top of the cave wall, you have this wings symbol. Shoot it and that will give you your new third emblem. Now, once you have all three of these emblems, and you can do this out of order, you don't have to get all three and then do this all at once, but for the sake of the video, once you have all three of these symbols, you can go and activate the three hidden crests to get a secret message. One is located right here, off on this little ledge. As long as you have the corresponding emblem, you'll be able to activate this crest. It's already activated in this example. You'll see me do it with the very last one. The next one is almost on the opposite side here. Again, off, you know, near the very back of the forge. And yet again, on a little ledge right here. Now, the third and final one is going to be to the opposite end, near the caves. It's hidden in the very back behind the rocks right here. And as you can see, you have crest acquired, you can activate that, and then the code will pop up on the monitor in the very back near the fan. And the secret message is in a bunch of runic letters. But don't worry, thanks to the Raid Secrets subreddit, which will be linked in the description down below, we do have a translation of this message. And it reads, with eyes fixed, past dawn's end, the fourth flame will rise, bring the knowledge obtained to the raiders of secrets, steal thyself. Now, what does this mean? Well, there's a couple of pretty big hints here. Past dawn's end likely means past the dawning, right? The dawning ends January 1st. The Niobe Labs comes out January 8th. So that's definitely past dawn's end. And this was speculation that something would happen along with the release of Naobi Labs, potentially, and that's the second hint we get, the fourth flame will rise. That really seems like confirmation of a fourth forge coming associated with Niobe Labs. And according to data mining, we had some clues to indicate this beforehand, but this is an actual in-game thing. The fourth flame will rise. I mean, igniting the forges, that, that very much sounds like what Bungie is trying to tell us. So we will have a fourth forge coming after the dawning, and that's very exciting. Now, although this seems like the conclusion of the secrets of Volunger Forge, with all three of the crests obtained and the secret message deciphered, this is not all of the secrets associated with the forge. In fact, it's been discovered that on Izanami Forge, there is even more symbols, like whole new sets of symbols with the different weapons. For example, with the sniper rifle, the Tatar Gaze, if you look down sights in Izanami Forge, you're going to see a certain set of symbols. With the bow, you get different sets of symbols. So perhaps we're going to have a whole new set of codes to input with Izanami Forge, a whole new set of emblems to unlock there, potentially crests to get there, and another secret message potentially to decipher. But that is all not been confirmed yet again this is wrapping up what looks like the wrap up of all the stuff going on on Volunger Forge. It is possible especially if there is a fourth forge and potentially a fourth forge weapon associated with it that coming back with that weapon will unlock an even newer secret to Volunger Forge but again with the three crests and the secret message it does seem like the conclusion here. Now, Goffin Forge as well could hold its own secrets, and of course, I'll keep you guys updated with those two other forges and the potential secret emblems lying within. 
And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.